Listen, dude, it's nothing personal, but there's a very depressed looking plant below you and uh, I could, I could definitely use just a little, oh my God. I was gonna say, just a little water. I could have maybe like trimmed up his butt, give him kind of a, a summer physique. What's up guys and welcome to Floor Plan. So this is a game that entirely takes place inside of an elevator. And I know that doesn't really come off as all that exciting, but the idea is every floor that this elevator can access is its own very different, very strange area that acts as a puzzle. And you may not necessarily have all of the pieces to solve that puzzle because they could be on other floors, maybe behind other puzzles. So you move around in between floors and you have to try to figure out how they interact with one another. And you get to interact with all of these strange characters and items that you can take with you from one floor to another, all to try to beat the game, I guess. I don't really know what the end game is. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I think this is going to end up being one of my favorite VR games. Like, I'm really excited to check this out. It looks super unique. So, we're currently on floor backward J, half lit zero, and uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty swingy. I'm liking it. But there's no one and nothing here, so I think we're going to move on to floor 12. Oh yeah, it really reminds me of those point-and-click flash games. It's kind of like Riddle School. It's crazy to think that this is how games have evolved <laughs> over the last 10 years. Hello, strange tub of bleach astronaut man. Ah, uh, can I help you? So I can make finger guns. I can shoot at your ghost astronaut friend. Uh, oh, so he's wearing pants, you're, oh, you're wearing pants. Do you, ooh, could take this with me to another floor. Oh, just, you, you want to get dressed. I see, okay. But you're still missing your boots and your helmet. Ooh. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm good, thanks. Should I take this? That's a big mug. Okay, so I get one item that I probably don't need right now, and I need to go find uh, a helmet and boots. I don't suppose you got them poked away in here somewhere, no? Pretty sure we can actually store these in the elevator for when we need them. Okay, so we have a coffee mug. Explore. Oh, there's the rest of the floors. Wondering why this game was only two floors. Okay, I'll, I'll be right back, buddy. We're just gonna go to, oh, here we go. Okay, we have a flower, a snowman, a jackhammer, a volcano, a tombstone, and, oh, the lobby. Okay, that's probably where we just came from. Ooh, that's a whole lot of what does any of this mean? Let, let's go to the flower. Just do it in order. I know it's elevator music, man, but it still gets under your skin. And every time one of these games gives you Mr. Mime hands, it freaks me out. Hi! What the hell are you? I'm gonna go ahead and make my second Pokemon reference in the last 30 seconds and say that you kind of look like an Oddish that was evolved with a Xanax instead of a Leaf Stone. <laughs> so what do you got going on here? Oh. Okay. Huh, some kind of air conditioner. Okay, well, can I use this to try to... No? Maybe I could just put coffee in it? Yeah, maybe we should just put coffee in the coffee mug. <laughs> okay, so, we now have coffee. I'm not sure if I'm drinking it. Did you want some? You look like you could use a little pick-me-up. Here you go. Coffee's probably not too good for plants, right? Oh! Oh! Oh, God! There's something about getting thrown up on in VR that you just never really get used to. That was really oddish comment, wasn't it? Okay, I, I probably had that coming. So you seem to have a whole lot of work to do because there's nobody else here. 
think we're just gonna fill you up with coffee again, and then probably move on to the snowman? Would the snowman like some coffee? Oh! That's really interesting. So floor four, above us would be floor five, and that's where we have all of the cold coming from. Oh, all right, you see what I mean? Like, it's not just items. Sometimes the floors will have weird little interactions with each other. <laughs> I can, oh yeah, look. We, you can probably see that stupid little oddish from here. You're in a meat locker? D did you want some coffee? Did you want to warm up? No? I'm gonna take that as a no. Huh. Okay, well, let's just store that. You have a shovel. Can I have that? No. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me the shovel. I need to do something to thaw this out to get the shovel, and I can't grab your meat. Yeah. Oh, you don't like getting... I probably shouldn't poke you there now that I think about it. That, that was a little inappropriate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, sometimes when you see a, a giant living snowman, you just... You gotta, you gotta poke him. Can I see my breath right now? Oh! Oh, the cold is creeping into the elevator! This game is insane! Not only can I see my breath, but I have an odd amount of thumb control. Which is kind of freaking me out. Okay, I gotta stop playing with my thumbs and just letting you warm up, even though you kind of look like you want to warm up. Weird for snowman. Okay, so we need to warm things up. That'll make him happy. That will uh, get us the shovel. So let's move up a floor to a jackhammer. <laughs> Am I gonna thaw now? Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're warming up. We're we're moving. What? I <laughs> what is this? Excuse me, sir. You seem to have a key. Keys are usually important in games. If I could just uh, I could just get that from you real quick. Maybe. No. It's raining outside. Hmm. So maybe I can throw something through you? Eh. Not quite. Then again, I don't know why I would need a full cup of coffee to throw through a window. I, I could probably just use a bro Oh, a full cup of coffee! Yeah, let's just pour that into your stupid jackhammery mouth. There we go. Oh my god, what is going on? Okay, so we're gonna take that. I haven't seen a lock yet, but that that's interesting. You could just go there. I'm not gonna get that coffee mug back, huh? Will you just calm the hell down? You're not even on the ground floor. Like, oh, you're technically drilling into, into snowman's room. So I gotta go check on the snowman. Snowman, what's going on? I'm, I'm sorry, dude. Oh, you see? Yeah, neighbors, man. They're, they're just the worst. Don't you just hate living below people? Okay, we're gonna take that shovel. So we have a, a very grim-looking key and a shovel. Find ourselves a gra oh, graveyard. We have a graveyard. We have a volcano. Okay. Is there something I'm supposed to do here, by the way? Like, technically, if I murder you, which isn't really high on my to-do list, but just go with me on this. If I murder you by melting you, then you would probably water the grumpy plant below you, right? That seems like something that might be in store. Uh, there's a meat robot back there. I don't know if I can interact with the meat robot. Okay, let, let's go to the grave. Right, we have a whole lot of grave-based items. <laughs> the elevator moves. And it's it's very disorienting because you don't feel it like a regular elevator. Oh. Oh, I like this. <laughs> this is very like Nightmare Before Christmas or for Beetlejuice. So let's see if we can uh Uh-huh. Okay, and then we got a grave. Good, good. Can can you get out of the way? Thank you. Now we're just gonna go and and dig up Beetlejuice, dig up a corpse. I'll bring a corpse to the snowman. I'm sure he's into that kind of thing. Maybe. Possibly. Probably. We got a skull. Oh. I have a... I, I got a broken shovel. Okay, we're gonna hold on to the broken shovel. And a skull. Weird. We can also see the same moon and rain that we saw from Jackhammer's floor with a broken window. 
So maybe I can flick this through the window? And then, I don't know, throw something down here? I don't know why I would bother. Actually, let's just go to the last floor. Let, let's go to the volcano. Maybe the volcano has something of interest. Skull, I don't know what I need to do with you, man. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Little, little warm. Little hot. Oh. <laughs> yup. That's spooky. What is... Oh, it's the helmet! Hmm. We want the helmet, but it's stuck. Hmm. Yeah, we, we definitely need the helmet, because that's gonna unlock the, the next few floors, I'm guessing. So these six floors are to get the helmet. So how are we gonna get... Oh, I think I see what the point of all of this is. Three should be below four, five, and six, right? So if we melt floor five and have the rain from floor six come down through four and then through three, it might cool all of this off? I'm not really sure. So we need to figure out what you guys are for. Let's go back to the jackhammer and see if I can use this to break a window. Oh, everything was cooling off. I was confused. He hello, I'm back. I I can I give you stuff? Do you want that? I'm gonna take that as a no, and uh, maybe here? No. It's a big no. What does that say? Oh. Hold on. There's a sign back there that says no skulls. So what if I give you a... S oh yeah, look, no skulls. You, you you killed that man. You killed that that's a that's a job accident. Oh no, he's afraid of skulls. I thought it was like a work hazard. <laughs> yes, jump out the window. Jump, do it. I I probably shouldn't be <laughs> trying to egg on a, a random cartoon jackhammer into jumping, but I, I I need to see it. Come on, jump, do it. Do it, you wuss. Do I need to break the window first? I think I need to break the window first. Damn. This doesn't seem to want to do anything. Yeah, this this seems kind of useless. I figured you would want water, though. Would you like a stick instead? Yeah, I guess that was kind of stupid. Wait, what does this button do? Hello? Is somebody there? Uh, maybe? Who's asking? Oh, crap! Is someone messing around in that elevator again? You, you best not rat me out, I swear to God. <laughs> I told them to shut that thing down! Look, you're kind of stuck in there, but we'll get through this together. Well, mostly just you. I'm kind of here too. Call me if you can't figure out what to do, and I'll make some suggestions. Oh, it's like a little hint box. Okay, I could definitely use a hint. Sorry to call you back so soon, but... Need something? Yeah, can I, can I get a hint? Let's see what I can find. The handle is made of wood. Uh-huh. Is that helpful or do you need another hint? Uh, I, I kinda knew it was made of wood, lady. Let's not get another hint. Now, where did I put that hint? Do you smell something burning? You should do this again sometime. So, maybe I need to use you in the volcano? Why would I use this in a volcano? Doesn't make any sense. No? Can I just throw you? No? Oh! 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 I now have a torch. I have a torch and an aggressive snowman that has been denying my advances. Listen, dude, it's nothing personal, but there's a very depressed looking plant below you, and uh, I could. I could definitely use just a little. Oh my god! <laughs> I was gonna say, just a little water. I could have maybe, like, trimmed up his butt, give him kind of a, a summer physique. Uh, I'll take that, though. Yeah, we're just gonna put that over here, and, uh. This is probably the astronaut boot, right? Can I take anything else from you? No, I'm just scavenging a snowman's corpse. Okay, so uh, Flower should be pretty happy now, right? Yeah, Flower should be loving that. I would imagine he just got a whole ton of water, but I didn't... Yeah, I didn't do anything with this, so you're not... Yeah, I know! I, I don't know what to do, though. Can I maybe burn this? I can burn this. There you go! Um... 
Thank you? Your money tree? It's kind of strange. Okay. So we have a top hat, a dollar bill, and a boot. Floor 12 is glowing again, so I'm gonna say that we need to go back there and give him the boot. Right? This is probably the astronaut boot, so we'll just... Eh. There you go, you slip those on. Oh, it's only one boot. Ah, oh, crap, there's two boots? Why did the snowman only have one boot? Oh my god, there are so many floors. <laughs> You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Floor Plan, guys, and I was right. This game is absolutely amazing, I love it. It reminds me so much of point and click adventures like Riddle School or the Douchebag Games or the Escape the Room Games. So if you guys wanna see another episode, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, let me know, and then maybe next episode we'll finally get this strange astronaut dressed. I still don't know why I'm doing all this. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.